Good morning. Well, let's see. Today I'm um, I'm home with uh, out of the seven of us, four four of us are sick. Uh, so we're not doing a whole lot today. We're just gonna um, be rather low key today. And uh, my three older kids are home. Uh, they had three days of testing for school, and uh, that's done. So now it's just trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm going to do laundry. Um, the weather's been, it's been really rainy out lately. So um, today is supposed to be semi-decent weather. So I think I'm going to um, try to get the laundry done. Um, I've also been uh, doing a challenge with myself. Um, here in New York State, our electricity bills have been phenomenal they really went up I really don't know why they went up but they did they went up a lot and so um, I'm trying to not use my dryer for a whole month and just hang the laundry out on the line it's taking a little bit of effort trying to coordinate uh, you know when the weather's sunny and and here in upstate New York it's, it's, you can have rain one minute and sun the next. So um, I've done really well. It's been three weeks and I haven't used my dryer at all. But uh, the last the last four days we've had nothing but, you know, it hasn't been four days, it's been three days. We've had nothing but rain showers. So that's totally prohibiting me from putting any clothes on the line. So today they're saying it's supposed to be up to 70, which, you know, which should be good enough for the... Um, clothes and and hopefully I will be able to get a load done before we get the rain showers this afternoon. Okay, so it's I'm gonna throw my clothes in the laundry and get that started before it gets too late today. My daughter was doing really well with the potty training until uh, last night and I think it's because she's sick. Um, she woke up in the night and had wet her bed, so we had to change her, and, and, um, being sick and croupy, she couldn't go back to sleep, so I ended up moving her into our bed, and, um, my husband ended up bringing in a spare mattress and sleeping on the floor, so she could sleep, she could sleep in bed with us, and then once she was in bed, she fell right to sleep, so... This is the second night of her uh, <laughs> sleeping in our bed, so I'm hoping tonight, with her feeling better, she can uh, go back to her own bed. Not that I mind having her in bed with me, but honestly, I sleep a lot better when when I don't have a little person next to me. And um, I also just just started getting the baby to sleep through the night, so <laughs> I really would like some normal sleep for a, for a few nights. So the little tykes are up from their nap, and this one here didn't sleep very long. Right, Mary? You know I have a cold. I don't sleep long when I don't feel good. Yeah, are you waving? So anyways, I'm heading out to get the laundry off the line. I'm going to put Mary in the playpen. Here you go. No, no, you got to play for a little while. Mommy be back. See if the laundry's dry. It's been out there for about three hours, so... Oh, it's gorgeous out. Okay, Let's see if the laundry's dry. Uh, it's still damp. I don't know if I've shown you guys this, but this is my uh, clothes basket that I made. Um, it's actually my clothes pin basket that I made la last year, two years ago. And I absolutely love it because it's got just a large pouch here for grabbing the pins. And I just made it so it went on a hanger, a department store hanger. It's really, really easy to make. It didn't take me that long. While I'm out here, I'll, I was looking in the garden this morning and I noticed my lettuce is up. 
Oh, look at the girls. They're sunbathing. Hey, girls. What you doing, girls? Huh? Looks like they're enjoying this nice weather. Oh, there's nothing like this these warm days. It's been such cold weather this year and really, really like soaking up all the warm temps. I'll show you my lettuce. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see those little green things here. But I've got lettuce all growing. I don't see, I planted spinach in this row, but there's nothing, nothing growing there yet. So, it's kind of exciting. Nice to see green stuff growing in the garden finally. You know, last year I was uh, pregnant and didn't have a lot of energy or time to uh, do a lot of gardening, so we didn't have a lot of produce, but this year I'm hopeful that we're going to get a lot done. Now, the same day that I planted that lettuce, I came, my husband planted lettuce over here, but I'm not seeing, uh, wait, 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 there it is. There's some lettuce there, just little tiny, I mean little tiny stuff, there's some here. So it looks like it's all starting to come up. Yay, that makes me happy. So I was walking back to the house and I realized that I had totally forgotten to open up our hoop house. And today it's 72 out and this thing is just cooking, um, as you can see. So I opened it up and all the plants looked like they survived. I did put in this vent on my hoop house, as you can see here. So, I mean, it does have some way to release the heat, but I mean, it just, it'll cook, cook in here. And I have to remember every day, if it's hot, to open it up. We really haven't had that many warm days to just go and open it up. But the other um, problem I've been having with that is, yesterday, two days ago, I looked and, and all my seedlings are in, um, they're in those little, what do you call it? Plugs, the plug planters, and they're just they're just setting on top of the garden soil covered with the hoop house. Well, apparently a cutworm must have been in there, and it started chopping down my pepper plants. So, um, Art yesterday hung twine from the top of the hoop house and is spending my peppers and tomato plants from midair with hopes that the cutworm won't come up and. Um, break off the plants so I can't open up the hoop house as much as I usually do because it'll uh, mess up the plants since they're hanging from the top of the hoop house so just just little things that happen in the garden little things that have to be done and you know all those little things take time and with the five kids I don't always remember that everything needs to be done in a day oh, Mary Catherine what are you fussing about <laughs> Are you fussing because mommy wasn't here with you? <laughs> What's that? Or say I'm really tired because I didn't take a nap because I'm too stuffy. You're too stuffy. Ooh. I don't like it when my babies are sick. Wanna see yourself? Say hi, Mary. Who's that? <laughs> Are you happy girl now that mommy's back? Oh, I got my two fingers. I'm gonna take all the kids up to an art shop and we're gonna uh, just get out for a little walk. It's such a nice day and Miss Mary here doesn't know what to do with herself, so we're gonna go for a walk. Hi Peter, you wanna say hi? Hi! Hi! Why are you taking a movie? Why? Because it's fun to take movies. Okay, Charity, do you want to change? Okay, can you change your shoes? Uh, well, we're going to start up to Daddy's shop, and then maybe we'll keep on walking to the library. I don't know. So I just got back from um, the shop, and 
we had these huge black clouds rolling and it's just starting to rain. So, anyways, I quick ran outside and grabbed the laundry. I didn't care if it was wet or not because it was going to get wet if it got rained on. And now I'm going to hang it up. I've got a um, uh, just a basic little drying rack in my bedroom that I put in the window, sunny window, and just let the clothes finish drying in here. Well, it's after 10 o'clock tonight, and I didn't have a whole lot of chance to... Um, video after Art got home tonight. It got a little hairy around the house trying to do dinner and and I ended up having to run to CVS and pick up some batteries. My uh, thermostat for, actually it's probably a sensor, um, for my digital thermometer. Uh, I thought the batteries were shot on it so I went and bought some more batteries and I put them in and it's not working now. So it's only a year old. I got it last Christmas and um, I don't know. I don't know why it's not working. Uh, so I've got to do some research on that. Um, my neighbor brought over a, another set of chicken eggs. So we're going to incubate them and hopefully on May 21st or thereabouts we will have um, hopefully some chicks hatch. Um, I'm trying to think what else happened. Oh, um, I'm coming down with the kids' colds. So I feel kind of out of it tonight, and um, Mary, Mary's been quite miserable. She slept, not slept very much at all today, so she's been really fussy, and um, Art also took the oldest two kids over to a, um, a lecture, a PowerPoint, um, PowerPoint presentation over at our library that they were doing it on the Battle of Saratoga, and my son loves history, so he was... Uh, we wanted to get him into that, and that also counts as part of their um, New York State history, which they need to do for fourth grade. And that's pretty much what happened tonight. I Oh, I did finally finish um, my birth announcement. It only took nine months to get this done. But I don't know if you can see that. So that is finally done, and inside, inside here I have her picture. And I only, I only ended up making two of these, one for my mom and one for me, because there wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't a whole lot of reason to send these out um, after she's nine months old and everybody on Facebook already knows her and has seen tons of pictures of her. So I just made one for her birth, um, birth book and for my mom who wanted one for her refrigerator. So I'm going to edit this uh, video and call it a night. So we'll see you tomorrow.